All right, Juwan, we sat in the locker room at Blackman five years ago. What's happened in these last five years? A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, a whole lot of events has happened since then. <laughs> you know, um, from a high school graduate and now coming up this December, I'm going to be a college graduate. A lot has happened. And I just love the win. And one thing that helps with never giving up is I just believe in my brother so much that it doesn't matter what the situation is, if we're down or we're up, I know that they got my back and I got their back. That was in high school. You told me you hate to lose, that whether it was throwing, you know, wads of paper in the trash can right as the bell rings, yes, to sir. doing whatever on the football field, basketball court, that's never changed with you. What, where, does, where does that come from? Um, it just comes from uh, what's in, been instilled in me since a uh, young kid. Growing up with my family, um, it's a lot of talent, you know, um, on my mother's side and my dad's side as well, uh, as well as both of my parents, uh, obviously. <laughs> but just growing up and everything we did, we, we competed. And um, I, I grew up, um, you know, kind of just having, you know, uh, siblings and, and cousins and w as well that we always, you know, went outside and we played ball. Um, that was that was fun for us, you know. When when Tom's, you know, was born, we went outside and we walked to the park to go, you know, play basketball, you know, or, you know, we found a field to play football. Like it was it was seldom that we were just going out to play like, <clears throat> you know, hide and seek, you know. Like we we love to compete, and that was it. I have joked for the last four years that one day you will have a child, a little girl, a little boy, and when they're four or five years old and they'll be in the backyard shooting hoops, yeah. you're the competitive dad that's blocking the kid's shot. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of them, a couple of them at least, a couple. I mean, would, would, can you see that happening? Yeah, definitely. I mean, will, you, will you make it hard? Will you make it hard on your kid that way when they actually do get past and they're able to score on you doing this or that, they've earned it? They earned it. They earned it. And, um, uh, I kind of got to see that, you know, with my uh, my nephews. My brother has um, two twins, and uh, they go to Franklin County High School right now. They're freshmen this year. When they were when they were in middle school, my brother had them doing workouts, and I remember going back in college, you know, try to work out with these kids in middle school, and I couldn't even do it. So you know what I'm saying? So like that just tells you a whole lot about the kind of um, you know uh, willpower my family possesses. We don't we don't we don't like to lose at all, and uh, and my nephews, you know. Um, one of them, I can't even beat in 2K anymore. You know, like, they're just very competitive as well. 17 Gators, Dobbs back to throw. Fires, man wide open, Juwan Jennings bobbles and stays in bound down the sideline to the 20, to the 10, all the way to the checkerboard. Touchdown, Tennessee. What a crowd by Juwan Jennings. You have two of the most talked about plays in the last 20 years of Tennessee football. The, the play where you beat Tabor, yeah. and, then, and then the Hail Mary against Georgia. Does that seem like a lifetime ago, though, in a lot of ways? I mean, kind of, uh, you know, time moves so fast. At the same time, it feels like it was yesterday. You know, um, I, I can remember, you know, going out and practicing with Dobbs and Kamara and, and DB and, you know, asking for advice from those guys. And all of a sudden, now I'm the, I'm the senior. Let's go back to the fall of 2017. All right. You, you have the, the Instagram video. Yeah. You're a passionate guy. Very. You, you you know yeah, that that video is half about hating Vanderbilt. You just wanted to play against Vanderbilt. You had Vanderbilt. missed that whole season. The whole season. When all that went down, you're briefly dismissed from the program. Yeah. Did you worry that 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 you know you won't be putting back on the orange jersey anymore? Uh, it was a little it was a little sense of um, being worried there. You know, um, it was a it was a stupid decision that I made. Um, you know, strictly off emotion and. Uh, at that time, you know, I had just been out with an injury for a whole year. And so, you know, I've been kind of secluded that whole year. And then um, for me to come back on the team thinking I'm going to get an opportunity to play and it didn't come, you know, I was just a very frustrated kid at that point. And um, I took my frustration to uh, Instagram and I shouldn't have. Uh, it was a bad decision, but, <clears throat> you know, you, uh, live through, you live through your mistakes. You know, you got you to gotta correct them. And, uh, um, I know I've done that since then, and uh, it's made me a better person today. Uh, it'll be something I'll be able to, you know, one day be able to parent my ch my children on, um, just just knowing, you know, how to, you know, release uh, release your frustration can go a long way. I remember Coach Pruitt calling me. He had been on the job about two weeks, and he called me and he said, "What do you know about Jawan?" I yeah. mean, he was doing his due diligence, asking everybody from yeah. the, from the from the from the janitor to the to the athletic director. Coach Bruce a lot like you. He don't like to lose. Not at all. Uh, so when you when you walked in the you know door, 
and he told you, hey, I'm going to give you an opportunity to earn it back. Could, did, it just, did something click with the two of you? Because, I mean, like, you know, Coach Pruitt don't throw out a lot of compliments, but you're one guy that he is constantly praised. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, um, like I said, just like my whole life has been instilled in me, and uh, you got to earn what you get. Um, you know, I moved a lot uh, growing up, and, um, you know, I, d I never went to the same school for more than two years until I got to Blackman High School my sophomore year, and I went there for three years. But before that, every time I went to a new school, it was time to compete. You know, when no school just going to give me, you know, the starting position. So I kind of learned that growing up um, just, to, just to go get it. Um, Never asked for anything. Ain't no need for handouts. You know, you got your own two feet and two hands. So, um, kind of just, you know, that stuck with me. And uh, the goal and talk to Coach Pruitt, it meant a lot because we uh, actually connected. You know, the first time I talked to him, um, I could tell, you know, that he was just a very sincere person. Um, from the um, from the things he said and, and from the actions he's uh, he, he showed me, you know, he's always stuck to his word. It goes a long way, man. It really does. Just talking to Coach Pruitt, man, it made me happy and uh, be able to uh, have someone who actually cares about me as a person instead of just a football player, you know, um, it made the difference. And uh, that was the reason why I came here, came back. You, you understand Tennessee football and the people that came before you. Who's one guy that you wish you could compete against? Uh, I'm very competitive, so I guess you could say Eric Berry. But honestly, um, I tell you, a person I always wish I could have played against in college was Jalen Ramsey. That's one guy I wish I could have played against. Um, but you know, hopefully in the future, one day, if God willing, I'll be able to. All right, so you're going to run through the tee for the final time coming up here against uh, Vanderbilt. Um, will you go soak that in? I mean, you got any kind of thoughts? I mean, are you just going to jog through, or are you going to? You're going to give them the, you know, give it to because I mean, all that energy is going to go into you for that one last game at Neyland when that when that crowd erupts. Last time, let's go around. Um, it's going to be something special. Just a whole lot of hard work, you know, that's going in these five years uh, on and off the field. And, uh, I mean, just like that situation we talked about when I had got uh, briefly dismissed, um, the fans never, they never, they never flinched. And they were always there. They always had my back more than anybody really since I've been here in Tennessee. The fans always had my back. So, just to go out there for this last game, um, I'm not really looking forward, you know, to it just being my uh, last game or looking forward for the cheers. I'm looking forward to ending, you know, the season off with a bang um, for these fans who have my back these whole five years and just giving them the best game possible. I, I can tell you're a little emotional just thinking about it. You yeah. know, I mean, what, what when you look back I and mean, we talked about the two big plays and there's been other big catches at Auburn last year. I mean, you've, you've made some, some big ones, but you know, what, what do you think your legacy is and what do you want it to be? Uh, I think my legacy is just, a, you know, a competitive kid, uh, the ultimate competitor to ever come through Tennessee football, uh, no matter um, what position you ask me to play. Uh, quarterback, wide receiver, running back, kickoff, punt, it don't matter. Uh, I'm going to go out there and compete my tail off and, um, and just know that I love to win. Um, my legacy that I want to just leave here is that um, I cared about this university and I cared about these fans. More than a, more a whole lot than I did about just the game of football, um, you know these fans and this uh, this university. It really it really makes the game that we play in today. Um, without you know, without <laughs> without those one one hundred two four fifty five, Neyland is not the same. And um, just for my legacy, I want I want Tennessee to remember um, that Juwan Jennings gave his all on, on every down that he played here. All right. Well, we've sat down in the locker room at Blackman High School. We've sat down in the locker room here at Tennessee. Next step, the NFL. So let's reconvene in this in a few years, wherever you're at, and do it one more time, all right? Yes, sir. Sounds good. All right. Thanks for having me, baby. Jawan Jennings, a true, true Tennessee legend.